Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the most recent patch that came to Black Desert on April 24th of 2024, looking at all the events as well as major changes, that way you don't miss a thing. This week's patch has the clickbait title of the merger of all the different life skills, plus a few other little tweaks and changes throughout cool explosion in the background right there uh but yeah so quickly before we get into that if you are new to the channel to black desert or you've been watching videos on the channel and still have not subscribed yet please consider it, it helps to grow my channel you stay up to date with new content and we both win and without further ado let's get into it and start off with the events uh, which is just one event this time around like we do every single one of these patches and that event is actually a pretty neat one though this weekend for logging to black desert from april 26th through april 28th so make sure you log in for 60 minutes each day on the weekend to get a total of 1,000 crown stones. So we've got 300 on Friday, 300 on Saturday, and 400 on Sunday. Uh, so 1,000 crown stones plus a bunch of other bonus items for logging in for all three days. Uh, definitely want to make sure that you are logging in this weekend. And that is the main event. So we do have the continuations of a couple of other events, but uh, the main new event is right here, logging over on this weekend. So definitely take advantage of that if you're around this weekend and can do it. We can then get into the patch notes themselves, and the patch notes themselves bring, like I said, the big life skill change. So the TLDR on this one is that uh, if you open up your life skill menu, the P key on the keyboard, uh, you'll see that your life skills across all of your characters on your account have been merged, and all of these levels will be the same. They took your experience points and added them together rather than taking the highest level, so all of your EXP from all of your characters should be merged, and your new level is on your screen. Uh, if you did tick over Guru 50 because of this, your EXP is going to continue to count, and you will continue to gain uh, levels, essentially. Um, but there will be no additional bonus to any of these life skills beyond Guru 50 for the time right now. They said they're looking into adding new ex bonus stuff for those of you that have gone over level 50 for Gurus. Um, but, yeah, so that's a future future update type thing. For now, no bonuses beyond level 50. Now, because all the different life skill levels have been removed from all your other characters and it's kind of just merged into one now, they also changed the way that life fame is calculated. So, starting at Professional 1, you're going to get 93 points, and then every level thereafter is going to add 3 points for a maximum of 243 points at Guru 1. You still need to hit 901 points to reach the maximum silver bonus, and essentially, you uh, it should be a little bit easier overall to get these Life Fame bonuses and be getting this bonus silver every day, which, if you didn't know, on the B key on your keyboard, you get bonus money down here every single day that you can claim. So, you know, uh, collect that silver reward every once in a while. But essentially, that is the major stuff there with the uh, with the life skill portion of this patch. We can then get into some other stuff. First up, for those of you that are doing Guild League combat, you will be automatically dragged into the middle of the uh, combat zone rather than being able to hang out in the fog for a, for a long time. So it'll move you into the combat zone. Some improvements overall to the music and composing system if you're into to doing that sort of stuff, making music in the game. We then have a note about how they were previously going to consolidate all the different reward seals into a singular one on April 24th. That's being postponed until a later date. So, uh, yeah, that's all. They're just saying that they didn't do that. For those of you, again, that didn't watch any of the patch notes videos before, all of your different seal items, or a good portion of them, can be redeemed over here on this menu um, in the top corner of your screen. It's the little uh, little chest icon that says Manage Currency up at the top. All the traces, fruits, and essences have been consolidated down into one that you can receive in the world, so you'll no longer get different drops. They're all consolidated down into one. If you're wondering where all of your other stuff ended up, it probably ended up in Heidel, so, like, all of my Trace of Natures are sitting right here. Uh, majority of your stuff, if it got consolidated, should have ended up in your Heidel storage. So if you can't find stuff, check the Heidel storage. With the reduction of items that you can now obtain, the adventure logs from Deeb's Encyclopedia that called for these items has also been reduced to requiring fewer of them. And then there's a couple other tweaks to some other content throughout the game as well. But all in all, it's just because they consolidated down to these singular items, so now you don't have to have multiple forms of them. But then after that, guys, there's not a ton more content with this one. A couple little tweaks, changes, nothing too crazy. So now is your turn to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Excited for this life scale of merger like I am? I know I'm probably going to put out a video showing you like the best ways to take advantage of this, how to set up different characters in different places, all that good stuff. Um, so be on the lookout for that for all you that uh, follow me for my life skill content. And then also I do want to apologize for not having a weekend live stream this past weekend. I was sick on Wednesday when I recorded the patch notes video last week and it was a really rough weekend. I'm starting to get over it, so I'm ready to go again with making content. I know I say this all the time. It's been a rough couple of months, been getting sick like every other week. Uh, hopefully I'm in the clear this time. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you at the next YouTube video, the next Twitch live stream, or wherever happened to see you. Peace.